to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at this little guy. So, DJI has uh, finally released the Spark, so it's been rumored for a while and uh, looks very much like the Mavic, except it has fixed arms and two axis gimbal and I think maybe even a tiny bit smaller. I'm not 100% sure. Look at how it fits in this person's hand. So, a very compact unit. So, let's take a look though at some. Um, statistics on this guy that they give us. So 60 minutes flight time, very respectable for such a size quadcopter. Range 1.2 miles or 2 kilometers. Now keep a uh, note, there's a little caveat here and this is going to be a little bit important. Uh, again, great range at 1.2 miles for the size of bird. Uh, speed, very respectable, 50 kilometers per hour. And I'm not sure exactly what VPS range is. We'll have to do a little bit more homework on that one. Uh, the other piece here is the two-axis gimbal. Now, the Mavic has a three-axis, Phantom 3 has a three-axis, but I've had uh, up airs with the two. And I think for general use, if you're not a cinematographer, this will be just fine with the two-axis gimbal. Uh, the other piece is here we see it's got a 12 megapixel effective uh, 12, mega, 12 megapixels of effective size or pixel count. I, I wish you'd put the real because obviously if they're saying uh, effective they're interpolating the uh, sensor which is kind of sucky. But getting sort of to the main point because one of the things I did is I laid down my cash this evening for this guy and you know usually when I get these things I kind of just get the base version and I kind of decide later what accessories I want so typically I would have laid down the 499 but something just didn't feel right about it because I looked down here and I said oh fly more combo 700 so you know basically for about 200 bucks more what do I get and um, you know so yeah we get a 16 uh, megabit card uh, SD card I guess if you buy either or, it doesn't really state um, uh, anything, you know, which is there and kind of limits you to two, which is normal. But one of the things I scrolled down to here is, is what's in the box. So I took a look at it. So the Spark, basic Spark, is you get the copter, you get the blades, you get a battery, you get a charger, you get a great micro USB cable, like we don't have enough of those, and a storage box. Okay, um, but something struck me as missing. So I scroll down to the Spark Fly More combo, and yeah, it looks like you get a lot more stuff. Maybe paying 200 bucks more, but you notice the controller. So you don't get a controller with the base unit. You're expected to use your cell phone. Now that's not your cell phone's not going to make a 1.2 mile distance. So. Um, I would have been very disappointed again to get that. Now, let's look at some of the other things in the Fly More combo that we get. So, obviously, we get the propellers, we get the prop guards. Now, you might say, yeah, Joe, I mean, why do I need the prop guards? I'm going to throw those away. Well, let's take a look at this in a minute. So, I think you might want the prop guards. And then you get two batteries, not three, but two. You get a charger, and then you get a cord to plug in the charger. That That's kind of grand to note that as being a separate item that you get. Uh, you get a three-spot, looks like a three-spot battery charger, which is which is pretty cool. So if you want to get another battery, you can do three at a time. And again, the obligatory USB cable, a storage box, and a neat shoulder bag. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I like the shoulder bag um, to carry it in. But now down here, if we look... Under recommended accessories, we have the battery, we have the charger. Notice it comes with the cord where it's separate above. We have the flight batteries, we have the prop guards, and then we have to scroll over here and we see the controller. Now, notice the controller is $149. So, if you buy the base unit and add basically $150, bucks, you're at $650. Now, if we go back and we take a look and say the battery is. Um, you know, another 50 bucks plus the three position charger plus the prop guards. It's just quite a deal for 699 versus the 500. So I, I did uh, do the upgrade and spent the 699 and went with the Fly More package. So again, uh, this is one of the things I wanted to point out because I would have been hugely disappointed to open that box and not find this controller and then to discover I had to pay another 150 bucks for that guy and then, you know, things would just start adding up from there. So I think D DJI could do a little bit better job of explaining that up front because uh, that's kind of iffy and, and again, I feel um, 
it's probably not the best not adding that controller in up front in the base package but they're probably trying trying to you know pull people in with this price because i tell you what when i saw the five you know sub five hundred dollar price i was in right from the get-go when that email came in uh until i did some looking but i'm still in because i think this is really a value at this price because again even at roughly 699 or 700 bucks if you compare the similar things in the mavic you're roughly about half the price and so yeah, that's pretty cool. I can I can stand that um, being abruptly half the price. But let's take a little bit more and look at the overview. Now there's some pretty pretty cool videos over here, and I definitely suggest watching them. This has a lot of features. Um, it has a lot of the built-in gesture recognitions that uh, the some of the higher end $500 plus version drones that are out there, selfie drones have, which I think is very cool. Uh, it even has facial recognition. It turns uh, itself on by recognizing you, which is I think a great feature, uh, you know, to help prevent theft, etc. If, if that truly does lock it. And so again, you can see some of the gesture controls. And again, if you launch the watch the video, I'm looking at this here, launch. Uh, Launches from your hands, and this is why I, I say the prop guards are probably not a bad idea in this case, because launching and landing takes really uh, takes place a lot in your hands, according to the videos anyway, and again because of the size. So uh, again, I thought that was pretty good. Um, the app seems to have a lot of additional features uh, in it, and controls with follow me functions, and uh, looks like even mission type stuff like Leechy. And then again, basic editing. So, and again, you can see here it has several intelligent flight modes: quick shot, uh, active track, tap to fly, and gesture mode. And you see a nice little happy family here, you know, controlling their spark. And so it takes you through these various uh, quick shot and uh, tap to fly and active track. And the part I like about these is, is you know, they're sort of down and dirty ways to really you know collect some video rather quickly and, and get in the air and, and do things which I, I really like uh, the camera seems to be uh, pretty nice too it, it, it's got a, a one you know 2.3 one so it's basically I got a, a 2.3 inch sensor um, I didn't say that right one divided by 2.3 so you kind of get the picture uh, so it's not a bad sensor size actually for a drone so it says it's got a powerful lens. I'm not sure quite what that means. Ultra smooth and mechanical gimbal. So we know it's got a two axis gimbal. So that's rather nice. Uh, and again, it's touting its gimbal and it's touting its camera. So let's see here. All spark images are con consistently sharp, vivid, a little color aberration. Now this is important, the color aberration. Um, you know, so obviously it has glass in it that's going to be, uh, you know, handle a wide range of focus or an APO type of glass. So it's got five element lens. So again, this is pretty nice. This is pretty impressive. And since I believe the DJI has purchased Hasblad, uh, I'm I'm expecting a lot in their cameras because they purchased a lot of great uh, camera technology. But here I think is more appropriate what I was trying to stutter and get out before. You have a third inch sensor here, which is basically what the iPhone 7 has. So this has the bigger sensor, effective sensor area. So you get better detail. So small compact, let's see here. So it is a CMOS sensor, not a CCD, allowing you to shoot stabilized video, spark accurate. Um, so that's all pretty cool. Multiple shooting modes, pano, uh, spark sheets, horizontal or vertical panoramas. Now this would be kind of cool. I could uh, I could get into that. Shallow focus. I, I like this feature because it gives you what's called OK feature. You notice in the background how it's blurred where the foreground is sharp. That's you know uh, usually a very deep depth of field. So that's kind of nice. Uh, flight performance. So this is what I wanted to kind of look at a little bit here. So let's look at the flight performance. So uh, 50 kpm per hour, uh, 2 kilometer high def video transmission. I'm not sure what that's trying to say. And you know, with the little cavity here. So high def Wi-Fi. Um, so is it using Lightbridge or I'm not really sure uh, because it says Wi-Fi, not Lightbridge. Uh, max flight time, so 60 minutes again, FPV flight, immersive experience. This does work with Google, uh, with not, I said Google goggles, I meant DJI goggles. So, um, so this soars, again, controller is somewhat reminiscent of a, a stripped down Mavic uh, controller. There's no, there isn't an LCD screen here. Um, 
innovative HD Wi-Fi technology allows for 720p real-time video transmission up to 1.2 miles away or 2 kilometers away. So obviously this does not have light bridge technology. Uh, stay in the air. So it has some form of smart battery and as I mentioned before you can use the DJI goggles. So yippee. Uh, I'm still unimpressed by these goggles. Maybe the internal experience but the the aesthetics of them, I think they could have done better, just my opinion. Uh, now, here's where I really think it gets interesting with the worry-free, the built-in flight safety. So, again, flight autonomy, return to home, flight protection, intelligent battery. You know, as you can see here, it is forward-looking avoidance, which is really a nice feature, so it doesn't run into things like I tend to do. And, again, you really see here the investment in the camera that DJI has made into this and I think really this is what they're probably going to form themselves into because the drone market is only so big folks uh, but the camera business is huge and again with their purchase of Hasblad and I think a lot of their development in this with the Osmo and Gimbal technology I think they're really going to start taking some leads in the camera area and, and again so we see um, you know some of the other basic features flight protection return to home uh, intelligent flight battery, I think we just assume that at, at DJI nowadays. And then here's all the recommended accessories again. So again, this is pretty good. Uh, I think I think you really get some value for the money. So uh, you know the Mavic I actually thought was a pretty good deal at a thousand. I think this is a fantastic deal at sub thousand. Now one of the things I've, I I also did is um, so I, here is his. This is in the DJI store, but I hopped over to Amazon and I see that the Amazon has these. Now one of the things that I like is buying things from Amazon because if I have problems Amazon's usually pretty great about taking care of those problems and uh, with that you know I had a problem with an up air one time and you know it took a couple days to sort it out but within a couple days the problem was sorted out uh, and, and so again I really like buying from Amazon for that comfort factor and and so this is where I actually ordered it from now what I've done on the uh, video drone website is I set this up so there's a listing of all the different uh, spark uh, models on here that you can go to and again if you go here and you pick out one of these guys you know I, I get an affiliate commission from this and help support the channel and the website and all this stuff uh, because I don't make a living from this YouTube channel trust me and uh, I have to buy all these quadcopters and everything you see me fly and review and everything myself so that kind of helps out so if you help me out I greatly appreciate it and uh, you know again helps me produce more videos from this and also helps you get a little bit better deal because I'm sort of vetting some of these things first for you guys so anyways this is out there and uh, so if you're interested uh, when I get this in now this is according to Amazon and everything I'm seeing it's going to be about um, June 20th to the 29th before it comes in and again it's coming from the official DJI store too so I feel very comfortable about this uh, you know via Amazon so they're acting as the middleman the price is the same no difference in price free shipping so that's all good I don't know if I'll get the free 16 gig memory card but I'm really not dying over a 16 gig memory card I'd rather have the uh, comfort of knowing if I, I have a problem and I need to return a $700 item that it'll be easy to return and I did go for the yellow by the way um, so anyways uh, again if you're interested this is the route I would really take a look at and again you can see here that the controller does come with the unit and this was another thing that I really liked about it because it made it very clear what I was getting with the package so no surprises and uh, anyways hopefully I, I've shared some light on, on this what you get with the Spark and the fact with the Fly More package it is far better deal you get the controller because again I would have been really bummed to open up that package after spending 500 bucks and finding I had to spend another 150 some bucks to get a controller uh, that I thought came with it. So anyways, that would have been a disappointment and I think DJI should clear that up out, right up out of the gate uh, but instead of putting little cabots in there. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and hey, if you get any questions, comments, whatever, hit me up below. Happy to answer them. I try to answer every comment I get and hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.